Math 31, let's take a look at example four. So what I want to point out when I say evaluate this logarithm without using a calculator, I want you to take note that there was no base given. So this is the first time we haven't seen a base pop up. And there's something in math called a common logarithm, and that's what this symbol represents. If there is no base down here, we will assume that the base is 10. And that's a common logarithm. So a common logarithm is a logarithm with base 10. We write log base 10 simply as log x. And this was called the common logarithm because people used to count with their fingers and you had 10 fingers. So that's why this is called the common logarithm. So with that being said, I want to solve this in two ways and I'm going to do it without my calculator. And then I want to show you how I can get this calculator button, calculator command to show up. So we've been doing this in examples two and three. If you're more comfortable taking this logarithmic equation and writing it in its equivalent exponential form, you can just tell, tell me 10 to the y is equal to 100,000. All right, and then because there are five zeros here, one, two, three, four, five, we know 10 to the y is equal to now 10 to the fifth. And because these two powers are equal and their bases are the same, we know their exponents must be the same as well. So I can get to y is equal to five. And like I said, I think it's a good habit to start practicing these properties of logarithms. So I see this and I say, well, this is log base 10. This number, this argument of 100,000 can be written as 10 to the fifth. And whenever the base of your logarithm and the base of your power are the same, the only thing that survives is 10 to the fifth. And again, just to remind you, let me rewrite this before I cancel it out, because this entire expression is an exponent. Well, what exponent do you need on 10 to get it to be 10 to the fifth? Well, you need a five, because 10 to the fifth is equal to 10 to the fifth. That's why this exponent is five. All right. So with all of that, because logarithms of base 10 are so darn common, they have their own calculator button. So if you pull up your calculator, all right, let's turn this thing on. Looks like I was in my graph screen. I'm gonna go home by hitting second in mode. All right, I'm gonna just scroll down a little bit so we can see the bottom half of my calculator. If you go to your on key and go up one, two, three spaces, you'll see your common logarithm button. So you have a common log button. You also have something called a natural log. We're gonna to get to that in just a, a little bit in this section, but you do have a common log button. So let's go down here and hit that log button and then type in your argument of 100,000. You have this common log, you entered that button, gave it the argument, hit enter, and there it is. You get your common logarithm of 100,000 is equal to five, okay? All right, so with that, we're gonna practice this calculator button for a little bit um, with another example, and then, and then we're gonna move on into natural logs. All right, I'll see you in a few, gang, bye.